members of the reptile family, of course. They are closely related to dinosaurs than they actually are our native reptiles. Way back 200 million years ago, crocodiles actually walked on two legs. And to this day, they can still jump up on two legs to get prey. That's why their back legs are so muscular compared to those of the tiny front ones, kind of like a T-Rex. They eat mostly, well, all meat, but some eat fish, some eat birds if they can get them. Females stay in the, uh, females protect their babies. They will stay and watch their nests for two to three months. And some will even carry their babies around in their mouth when they're first born to the water. And then the babies go out and swim and hopefully don't get eaten by fish or birds. Only 25% of saltwater crocodile babies make it their first year. There's a bee in here. <laughs> well, too bad we don't have a baby gator. He'd eat that bee. <laughs> um, crocodiles and alligators are very, very similar. Alligators have a wider nose. Crocodiles are more... V shaped. <laughs> you remember what I told you about the teeth? <laughs> Crocodile's teeth are hollow and they grow a new set, a new tooth under each tooth. So when they lose teeth, they have new ones underneath already grown into place. And in the span of 30 to 40 years of a crocodile's lifespan, they can have as many as three to four thousand teeth. <laughs> that's quite a that's that's a lot of teeth a lot of times. <laughs> Some of them can grow up to twenty five feet long. They live in all types of water, brackish, salt water, rivers, swamps. They've even been found in creeks. Matter of fact, I had one that was found in Delaware Park for a while. <laughs> What's the difference between alligator crocs and caiman? That's what we've been found here. That's what I had. It's a caiman. It's actually a caiman crocodile. Okay. They're very small. Yeah. They don't get bigger than six feet. But so at six feet, they small? can still weigh about 100 pounds or so. They stay small. In other words, this table is probably what eight foot table. So three of these tables put together could be one crocodile. But a caiman won't even get as long as this table. Oh, they're small. That would be a really big crocodile. You know, no longer than a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now, is it, is it true that a caiman is nastier than either reptile? Most definitely. It goes in order of aggression, <laughs> caiman, crocodile, and alligator. Alligators can get so tame, they're like having a dog. Because we were talking about Albert. I don't know if you've seen any of the videos, but that guy had his gator, and he could just put the food right in his mouth with his hands. A dog, that just like a dog. Like an no, this is a nice alligator. He raised him from a little tiny baby. Well, Albert was, was pretty good with his owner. Well, that doesn't mean you can put your hand in his mouth. That's right. Albert can still bite you. Yeah, anything with teeth can bite. <laughs> Including you. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, anything else that I can think of offhand? Oh. Crocodiles um, can live in water that freezes. They will float with just their nostrils, their little tiny nostrils sticking out of the frozen lake. And as long as that part does not freeze over, they will live. They live underwater, yep. Yeah. They can stay underwater for over an hour. And then they come up and sniff. 
this year. Okay. Yep. Uh, they can. They do not chew. Most reptiles don't chew. Once it melts, then they swim away. They're cold blooded, right? Cold blooded, yeah. So if you swim free, swim free, they're not going to chew. They're going to hang on. Yes, they swim so right they down. Not eat it. Is that and how bears hide when you do it? Or no? They kind of do the same thing. A lot of them do do the same thing. A lot of them hide from Some of them will, if they can, they get into a mud. They, that's what they do with their death roll. They will get a hold of something in their mouths and then they will spin in the water and it'll rip it apart. Or they stuff it in a mud bank and then wait and let it rot and eat it that way. They make it something that's too big for them. Otherwise, they just swallow it whole. Mud. That's okay, because guess what? Crocodiles purposely eat stone because it helps them digest food. But you didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> so they're basically just chickens in that type of stuff? Sort of, yep. Yep. I think when I knew birds did it, I didn't know crocs did it. Yep, crocs did it too. No, they must have stopped them. Because that's where you Oh, they, it goes in somehow. It goes into their their stomach, and it helps to grind the food up in their gut. I guess they eat it to keep them out. Get more. But this only makes sense because you can find some for uh, sauropod. They have really big ones. They're big dinosaurs. That that makes sense, I guess. Sauropod. Yeah. Yeah. Or meat. Meat. <laughs> you know what? They say that a snake only sheds its skin to become a bigger snake. Are you aware of that? Or a alligator. Yes, they do. If they can catch them, they do. Crocodiles and alligators will eat just about anything they can catch. Think of a good one. Well, like I said, they live in all types of water. Um, salt water is pretty much where the crocodiles are found. Alligators can go pretty long. Yeah, and they can go fast too. And now they they can run on land between 11 and 17 miles per hour. Just for reference, that's when humans camp out at five. So we're not out running that. You left in the back at your pocket. No. Sitting. Sitting. If there's a lot of alligators, I guess it will go to fight to eat it. And then if there was a family, they Mommies and the babies do for a while, and then the babies grow up and they go find their own food. So, are they able to bite through the shells of like turtles and tortoises? No, they can swallow a whole bone. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. What? Yeah.
they uh, they have the strongest bite force of any animal in the world. But you can hold their mouth shut with two fingers, no matter how big they are. They're to open their mouths, they don't have very much strength. The, the, the muscles in their head for that are not made for that. They're made for us. Chomp them down. But once it's chomped down, it holds on. So they never have to really do that too much. Rubber band. <laughs> a rubber band for an alligator. Wow. Yep. Rubber what? band. It was very big in the culture on the internet when the uh, when the Americans got down to the uh, a crab pinching its mouth shut. <laughs> Pretty fast crab. <laughs> He's holding his mouth for a good hold on. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of my spiel. Does anybody else have any questions that I might be able to answer? I've worked with um, probably my five foot eight that I had. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I am an ultra big baby cat. I would love to have had a strong bear that big for me. But I didn't get a gator, I got caiman. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get a gator because of the size. So otherwise I'd be going through the What's the worst injury you have from a cane? I got bit one day when I was trying to wrap this on. Yeah, all four fingers of those hands, and they have an anticoagulant in their saliva. My hands bled all day long. I still did my show, but I had to change the band-aids every time I... You still did your show even with a bleeding? <laughs> I put band-aids on them so they didn't bleed. <laughs> or not. That's right. Are they in burials different, or are they the same? They're different. Uh, the burials are more rare at a caiman, and their noses are a lot skinnier. They're the ones that are like rolling. Really yeah. yeah. Almost like an alligator jar. How many have to do with the fact that you can't hold it? You said I can hold it well. Yeah. Well, imagine laying on top of it. No. But <laughs> you keep kicking to do that. Their, their tails, especially in the water, they can take away your leg opening. They're, they do have sharp, they're not really sharp when you feel them like this, but when they're whacking you with a force, you touch them. <laughs> yep. side of his face was the only thing he told us. And the guy said that's why he was getting rid of it because it kept hitting the glass and exploding up in there. I don't believe it for a heartbeat, but uh, it's possible, I guess. Looks more to me like maybe he was just bitten by a rodent at some point and misshaped his face. But you can even see where the jaw line